After yesterday's light wind, the conditions are totally different today. Just what the doctor ordered. It's in at full force. 22 knots at the start. 30 seconds to go. Kookaburra is over the line. Dennis Connor to leeward of the committee boat is trying to figure out how to trap Peter Gilmore, the homesman of Kookaburra. Kookaburra jives on the inside. A nice move. Dennis Connor has made a mistake. He sailed too far to leeward. This could be the break Kookaburra is looking for. There's the gun. Kookaburra in a commanding position. Stars and stripes in trouble, at least this early part. But remember, 24 miles and eight legs to go. A good shot of the bows going through the water. Waves about four feet. Ian Murray concentrates on steering. Stars and Stripes pounds in big sea. Stars and Stripes sailing a little faster through the water. Kookaburra sailing a little closer to the wind. So far, it's even. Sail trimmer looks at the jib going through the waves. Kookaburra is forced to tack. A good omen for Stars and Stripes. She's going through the water faster and gains a small lead. Stars and Stripes tacks to cover. The adrenaline is flowing on both boats. It's hard work in these waves trimming the sails. Getting close to the windward mark. Stars and Stripes on the right on port tack has a small lead on Kookaburra. Dennis Connor has overcome that slow start. He tacks right on Kookaburra's wind. This is exactly what you do in match racing. Stay between your opponent and the next mark. Scott Bogle on the bow prepares for the spinnaker set. Stars and Stripes with a two and a half boat length lead is gonna go through a jibe set. A big maneuver in waves like this. With this wind shift, Stars and Stripes will sail closer on the port jibe heading for the leeward mark. Kookaburra also understands that the port jibe is closer. Hey, look at this. Wind surfers out on the race course. The chase boat forces them away. <laughs> These wind surfers are going faster than 12 meters. Kookaburra works up wind, but just can't match the speed of stars and stripes. Wind 25 knots now. Scott Fogel gets a picture. Smile. At the finish line, it's all stars and stripes. Two days in a row. Victory, this time by one minute, 10 seconds. Kookaburra follows. The crew is confused. What are they gonna do? They can't win in light wind or heavy. They've got their work cut out for them. 